are you using continue using it as what i'm saying i have very repetitious disorder if i use the same product i use it all the time so yeah i've been using it this brand since i came here when i wash my hair i use this one and i love this product when it hurts like this And how are you doing? I hope you're all doing fine. Once again, this is Rob Valentia and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. And if you are a new subscriber or if you are new to my channel and if you haven't subscribed to me, please, please do subscribe to me and also hit that bell button so that you will be notified if I have a new video. And for those who are old subscribers, thank you so much for coming back and watching this video. And don't forget to follow me in my Instagram and in my Facebook guys this is actually my i think fifth take it's really really hard to take this angle but i really don't know what to say and i just i was not in the mood to take video today and feel like i need to film it's because i ran out of content to to do already and for those who watch my previous vlog that is um guess that smell challenge i hope you enjoyed that and if you haven't watched that please do watch and here is the link up up you know so guys, tonight is um, about my hair. I know some of you would agree, but some of you would disagree. I heard and I receive a lot of compliment about my hair. And thank you so much if you like my hair. I though sometimes I don't just put my hair down. I just put it in a bun and just a messy. But even if I do that, honestly, I have a very, very healthy hair. I have very thick hair and a very thick strand thick yeah thick very very thick strand so even when i'm pregnant and after pregnancy i usually lose a lot of hair it's part of the hormones it, it keeps going back and i really really have i'm really really happy about that and for those who are asking also i also tried everything i tried blondie i tried uh, brown hair i tried the short hair tried to have a dora hair until here everything i've tried everything but just two years ago i decided and i was so happy to make a decision i made a decision that i would just keep my black hair and just keep it long and I, re I did not regret anything. And this is my hair now for the past two years. And thank you so much for those who compliment. And for those who are asking what are my hair routine or my hair care routine, I will be sharing to all of you. There is not so much actually. So without any further ado, the first thing is that I wash my hair once or twice in a week. I do have bath every day, but I wash my hair once or twice a week. I feel like it's best for your hair, it's healthier, you avoid a lot of chemicals as well. So you can read about that because I read about it also and it does really help with my hair. Second is I avoid hair curling, hair straightener, and hair dryer. I have a hair dryer but I don't normally use it, only when it's needed. So I avoid it because it's not good for your hair. It could kill, the, it could ruin your, the elasticity of your hair. So that's the second one that I, I do. I avoid it. I don't also use the hair straightener. So it's been a long time since since I have this hair for two years already. I tried the I used the hair curler this year, last last March, only twice when I practiced the day before the event of my husband's uh, gala and on the day of the gala because I wanted to look different at that time. So that's it. That's why I said avoid it as much as possible. The third is I avoid harsh chemicals one of them is of course hair color and dyeing uh, i don't dye my hair anymore so i love this color and i'm contented with this so you have to love your hair color but if you wanna experiment it's all up to you by all means this is just my tip and my hair care routine whatever works for you do it if you love it if you love what you're doing if you love the hair color do it by all means this is just me okay and avoid the harsh chemicals, of course. I have I have dandruff. I, do, I will not deny on that. I've been telling all of you. So I avoid also harsh shampoo. What I'm using is I'm using a shampoo that is with a good pH level. Because this, there are shampoos for anti-dandruff. And I will be showing you here. This is my shampoo. It's a German brand. It's Sebamed. You can see that. Sebamed, anti-shupen means anti-dandruff. Anti, um, 
and it's with 5.5 pH level and I really really like it I really, really like this brand also it's really helping me with my dandruff because we have dandruffs you know <laughs> we're not perfect of course we have that so this is what I'm using for the shampoo avoid that as much as possible chemicals because it could ruin your hair you know that's why I don't use I don't really use uh, my hair dryer most of the time if I shower I shower the night at night usually I don't shower the daytime I shower at night so I, before I go to bed, I wait until my hair is already dry. Or if I'm really, really sleepy, what I do is I use the hair dryer, but the cold one. There's a cold one. So you can choose. They're also a very nice brand of hair dryer. But this is just for me. You can always use your hair dryer if you're using it. Continue using whatever works for you is what I'm saying. And then, of course, I avoid experimenting my hair already. <laughs> I tried the blondie that did not go blonde. It goes yellow and orange. I dyed my hair, you know, I tried it and I did not regret anything. It was part of my learning to look, how do I look in those colors, this type of hairstyle. I tried the Dora, I told you, I tried until here, everything, I've tried everything. And then I did not regret that I go back to this hair color to let it grow with my natural hair color. Because with me being a Filipina, with my skin color, you can see my skin color, it suits also with my hair. There is a reason maybe why God gave us black hair, why some has this um, blonde hair, orange hair, um, white hair. Because they look good in it. Like my husband, he may be bald, but his face formation looks good in his, uh, in his head. If he is bald but circle... Maybe that will not look good. He will be like a ball already. <laughs> you imagine? Good thing is a very nice formation of the face. So avoid experimenting your hair. If you want to cut your hair, if you want your hair to be cut, you can go to a hair parlor or hairdresser. It's up to you. Or if you just want to cut it like simple, I, you can do at home. Of course, I cut my hair at home. I have a trick for it, how to how to cut my hair but uh, avoid experimenting like having a bounce bounce but you don't know how to do it because what i did before i pull my hair and then cut it so my bounce was until here that was so awful i was in college at the time imagine i was dora the explorer so yeah avoid experimenting if you have the means go to a hairdresser ask their opinion because i have this favorite salon in philippines in cebu in park mall called uh, coco but they already closed it i've been going there for like since 2000 after i graduated college 2012 i know i am batch 2012 in 2010 so after i graduated i i always go there and just like two years ago they closed and i like the guy he's a korean because he's been telling me because he said i wanted to have a uh, bounce he said no you don't look good on the bounce here because i have some here though i don't know if you call it one don't have hair this part it's uh, it's mostly empty <laughs> he said so he said side bangs is okay and i listened to him and it's really really good and they closed just two years ago and i'm so sad about that yeah there are really hairdressers that would always look after you that they're honest it's better to be honest and ask their opinion because they knows best you know so avoid experimenting it means experimenting cutting your hair like in a bangs or like you want it really really short and you have very curly hair doesn't look good promise <laughs> trust me and of course avoid uh hair coloring at home if you don't know how to do it then i suggest you go to someone professional or your friend who knows who can do it for you uh that's what i did i don't put color in my hair that's why my hair is already natural and of course love your hair with tender loving care you know what's tender loving care they said you have to brush your hair like 100 times but Honestly, I don't brush it always. <laughs> when I showered, I brush it. And then the next days, I just tie it. Like, put it in a bun. But it's not really tangly. I think tangle? Tangle ba yun? The term? Di siya nag ano ba? Tangle? Tangle ba yun? Am I using the right word? Yeah, you don't tang it doesn't go tangle. It will just flowy. It will just be still the same like this. You know? They said you have to brush your hair 100 times. That's what they suggest, actually. But for me, luckily, I have a very, very thick hair. I think it's also with the jeans. Luckily, because there are some people with really thin hair. I think half of my hair is just their hair. And I'm so lucky that the elasticity is really, really good. And that's it. Um... Next is use products that you really love. You feel like your hair would really go hiang. And whatever you're using, continue using it. As what I'm saying, I have very repetitious disorder. If I use the same product, I use it all the time. So yeah, I've been using it 
this brand since I came here. When I wash my hair, I use this one and I love this product. And then after shampoo, of course it's shampoo, I use a conditioner. I only use one brand actually, it's Garnier. This is what my hair, hiyang talaga ko dito guys. I really love this, ano, this brand. Garnier? Do you pronounce it Garnier? I think, I'm not sure. So this one, I have uh, a lot of stocks of this. There's no specific. This one is uh, coconut with aloe vera. I have the other one is uh, honey with honey. So it depends. I use it. And then after I condition, I put a conditioner, I rinse it off. And you know what I'm obsessed already. This one, I also put a mask in my hair. After that, because I told you, I only do it twice a week or once a week. So it's not really that bad. So I put, I still have a lot uh, a lot. Of this uh, in the toilet I have one and I hope I will not run out of this I've been using this for the past two years so I hope we could go back to Japan this year because I would run out of this this would be the last stock that I have but maybe I could change another one and with it's just the same um, content you know maybe there are a lot of brands that is uh, nicer here in Germany I just did not look you know but maybe I will be forced since we cannot fly anytime soon you know you know you know what I'm saying Kabilog Cheers Kitchen Vlog Kabilog's World pala so this is what I'm using after after the conditioner I put it for 20 minutes no not 20 minutes it's too long already 20 seconds and then I rinsed off and you can feel your hair is really different it's really really shiny and it's really really soft like I showered last night and until now I tied this hair already and it's still soft to be like this for four days even if I put it in a band it's still very very soft guys so yeah that's my tip and that's my hair care routine guys and um i hope you like this video and tell me what is your hair care routine this is just not actually for the ano for women and also for the men and sometimes you are lucky to have a very nice hair but if you are not lucky then like me i really don't have a nice hair so i have to do extra take care and i've learned my lesson not to experiment my hair not to cut it like a Dora the Explorer to dye my hair. So just love your own hair color. Take care of it as much as possible. Um, it's just like your, ano, like your face. Tender loving care. Because sometimes, they said that sometimes. I heard this from one of my friends. That your hair is your crown and glory. And it's really, really true. It does really help you, you know. It's your crown and glory. This is what, see. I'm already so old, you know. So, yeah. That's it, guys. I think I talk too much again. And once again, this is Rubble and Teal. And if you like this video, of course, uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't like, it's up to you. And share it to your friends. And of course, leave a comment below. What are your hair care routine? And if you want to know this product that I'm using, I'm also going to leave uh, this, uh, um, in the description box a link about this product so you can read about it. It's very important that you read um, about the product before you're going to use it. And of course... Um, keep safe everyone wherever you are in the world right now and see you again in my next vlog and once again this is Rob and Teal oh, you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go I never answer no man I still go 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 go